Welcome, this is the energy vibration for the second quarter of the year 2018. And I want to say thank you for being here, you Virgos. It is the time for the Virgo reading for the third quarter. I want to say sorry for the lateness of my reading, but you guys know what's happening. I love you, Virgos, so much. Please like, share these videos, cross watch, cross watch to see what's happening. Cross watch for your sun, moon, and rising sign, but cross watch for also yourself and your friends and family okay um let's see what's coming up for the virgos so we're calling up in the angels and guides to show us the message uh spirit guides ascendants masters what is happening for the virgos in the month of april may and june 2019 wow wonderful energies you virgos you begin um april is going to be a very good a month um, check out the full moon readings and the April readings to see what's happening because you have the energy of the world and this is very very good to start um, a reading or start a period with the energy of the world that means something has ended and a new start is about to begin for you let's see what's coming up in May for you Virgos we have the energy of the tower moment the tower moment is something um, unexpectedly is going to be leaving your life so something whatever is happening whatever is transpire something unexpectedly is just going to be leaving your life so this is something that you need to understand that is going to be happening for you Virgos then we have the energy of the star which is very beautiful very positive this is hope in the future this is new hope that you're going to be having in February and this is very very positive for you Virgos so we have the energy of hurt fire and hair and with these energies, what this is saying is that a situation that you have been in um, is suddenly going to be released in the month of May. Okay, so expect the unexpected in the month of May. Um, check out the extended reading to know exactly what is going to be happening to you and what is going to be released. And for a private reading, um, please connect with us. So these are beautiful energies what you have because the energy of the hurt is that um, this is ending a situation and giving you a, a real new positive start and this is going to be good and whatever that was blocking you is going to be released and then in June you're going to be having fate fate is going to be the transaction of you as we look there is a situation with an organization that is going to unexpectedly remove out of your life so some of you have been having some serious situation with an organization it could be the telephone company utilities whatever the situation is and now in the month the end of April going into May it's finally going to be released and in May it's going to be out of your life for good so this is a very very much positive as we move on we're looking at May going into June victory and success this is positive um, I'm seeing a positive transition that is going to be coming in for you guys in um, and leaving May going into June so pick up the um, full moon reading and the May readings to see and know exactly what is going to be happening exactly what is going to be transferred because there is going to be definitely positive energies that is coming up for you guys now um uh, definitely what is transpiring for you guys is that you guys has been going through an horrible situation with an organization and finally finally it's as if someone listened to you it's as if you have been saying hey there is something wrong there is um an injustice that has happened there is someone using my information whatever it is you have been going trying to let people know and understand that something isn't right and finally it's as if people start listening and 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 to, um finally in me this is going to be lifted up and this is going to be good the outcomes is the wheel of fortune a very wonderful period a lot of people are receiving the energy of the wheel of fortune which is very wonderful very positive um especially for you guys um it is a lucky so the the whole period is going to be lucky because the outcomes is the wheel of fortune wonderful energies is here because um in a reading whenever the energy of the world and the chariot and the wheel of fortune this is a good sign that things is about um to be released whatever you were blocked whatever that was happening in your life where you felt as if you could not move um definitely some information is going to be coming in that is going to be making some changes okay and it's as if 
these changes needed to be made because whatever that was happening or whatever that was transpiring was um, uh, some dishonesty that was coming up very much so there was really some dishonesty that was happening and transpiring and whatever the dishonesty is or was now finally um, this is going to be cleared up okay so um, wonderful energies is going to be coming out I love your reading because whatever the, the energy is shifting out of your life it is bringing you luck it is bringing you the wheel of fortune it is bringing you luck and it is good for you guys to check out the extended reading to see what is going to transpire because you have the most powerful um, quarter because you're ending your quarter with the wheel of fortune so in the month of April expect a wonderful positive things uh, may something is leaving your life but it is replacing it with something even much better so um, you are really in for a wonderful treat um, um, judgment information is going to be coming in um, over a transition that is going to be taking place but it's going to be very good because something needed to be released so that something new could come in wonderful energies um, you guys um, I always check out what is coming up for you guys alrighty I've changed the energy of the reading who stress management I've changed the energy of the reading so um, oh oh man you Virgos you're standing up stress management um, steady progress so um, April is going to teach you uh, uh, how to deal with stress May is steady progress steady progress you are having steady progress you're moving along and having steady progress and what do they have in June believe in yourself believe self sent ill the guard and this is one of these energies that let you know that you need to believe in yourself and understand who you are you need to believe in yourself if you don't believe in yourself and you expect others to believe in yourself that is so false you need to believe in yourself so some of you are going to be dealing with stress and understanding how to deal with stress some of you in the spirit is going to be having steady progress and you can see this because of the energy in the period and some of you are going to be learning how to deal with yourself so there are certain angels and guides you can call upon in this period and your guiding angels are going to be teaching you how to stress management okay how to deal with stress that's what your guiding angels are going to be helping you with now steady progress forward is that Saint Teresa of Luxon comes in and that is the little flowers and she is going to help you um, and let you know that you're on the right part and just take baby steps and you'll be okay now I love sent in the guard the big room because she's a wonderful person she helps you to understand who you are and to believe in yourself and as you do that you're going to be realizing how powerful um, this is so let's check out what are we going to be dealing with why um, these energies comes up and remember um, this is an extended reading so it's a dollar ninety nine you can always pick it up on on demand please remember to subscribe subscribe if this is your first time thank you for being here let's see what is happening stress management what should they know about this period with stress management at work so a lot of you are learning to deal with stress at work in the month of April or in this period April till June and this is going to be good because by learning how to deal with stress this is going to be very wonderful because you're going to be aligning yourself with positive energies okay then we have the energy of steady progress and some of you are going to be having some steady progress and moving on um, a positive um, you're going to be finding your right part and your true part and uh, moving towards that okay and moving towards that believe in yourself and in the God the big room is here believe in yourself and uh, here is the seven of swords some deceptive situation that could be happening and you need to believe in yourself okay so something um, at work some of you could be walking away from your work and you're having self-doubts and um, she's saying no don't have any self-doubt stay and believe in yourself okay 
so this is wonderful some of you are dealing with some negative energies and you were dealing with an Aquarius Gemini or Libra that was sending you some negative energies and in and, and try to influence a situation but definitely definitely you're going to be overcoming this okay whoever this person is and it has to do with um, some of some intervene with love between you and someone you know or between you and your child so it could be that your child has is in a relationship with an Aquarius Gemini or Libra and you don't like this child and this child you had no idea that this child believe in black magic or negative energy and is using negative energy to keep you and um, your child away from each other and bring only hate and this is the sense that you're going to be finding out about this little nasty um, person who works only with negative energy and believe in negative energy and as you see this is that she's influencing um, the the connection between you and your child or you and a partner and this is going to be coming out ladies and gentlemen you have these people around you and that is it um, whenever you come against someone and you think no I'm not feeling the energy with this person believe in yourself and listen to your own intuition because it's always true listen to your own intuition because it's always true if your child bring home someone and your you know your spirit guides or your case is saying no I don't like this person this is not the person I see with my child you're always on the right track and that is something that is going to be happening in the spirit that you have to listen to your intuition sometimes we as parents can see the negative aspect of uh, our kids um, relationship and the people that they go in relationship with and this is what is definitely transpiring listen to your intuition okay let's see the moment um, um, so the outcomes um, it is the message from the universe and it said the moment I embrace um, my peace within and surrender the outcomes is the moment that the universe can truly get work this is a very very beautiful beautiful messages for you Virgos you Virgos are going to have a very positive third quartile so check out the um, on the moon reading because we're going to be going further um, to see what is coming up for you Virgo so check out the on the moon reading because this is going to be a very 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 um, positive positive alignment of energy that is about to come in for you Virgos so ladies and gentlemen I want to say thank you um, for being so supportive my excuses for the lateness of the reading and um, for the extended of this reading use the link below subscribe subscribe leave a message let me know how it went namaste